Hey everyone, so J.D. Vance, the vice presidential nominee, has uh, spoken in Washington, D.C., commemorating the October 7th attacks, the, the one-year anniversary since October 7th attacks in Israel. And uh, he, he says some very interesting and important things to emphasize, and I'm just going to share with you the video, and we'll, we'll talk about it as he speaks. Not since the Holocaust, almost... Uh... 70 years ago, almost 80 years ago, have we had such a terrible attack on innocent Jewish life? Sadly, many Americans do not know the full truth of the Holocaust, and many Americans do not know the full truth of what really happened on October the 7th. Many don't know that more than 1,000 people, including 32 innocent American citizens, were killed. Many do not know that 252 people, including 12 Americans, were taken hostage by Hamas, and that Hamas has held American citizens hostage this entire time. I know, of course, it was Israel, and it was Jewish people who were most affected by what happened on October the 7th. But we can't ever let the American media, we can't ever let our fellow citizens forget that October the 7th was not just an attack on Israel, and it was not just an attack on Jews, it was an attack on Americans, and every single American of common sense and principle must reject it. And I know that there are many, many people who want the war to end. I am certainly one of those who wants the war to end and wants peace to return to Israel and to the territories that are currently completely destroyed by war. But the truth is that the best way to end the war, and I believe the only way to end the war, is if Hamas would let the hostages go. And I bear... I wear this dog tag with, I think, a, sim a simple principle. Whatever your faith, whatever your political beliefs, I think that all of us can unite to say, bring them home. Bring the hostages home. This is disgraceful what's been happening, and we've got to bring them home. Yeah, he's absolutely right. Uh, we do need to bring them home, and that will be something extraordinarily helpful in stopping this war from continuing. Uh, and he's also correct in saying that although it was uh, Jewish people and people in the land of Israel in particular that were were affected by October 7th, it wasn't just an attack on the Jews or on Israel. It was an attack on Western civilization. All people of goodwill need to understand this is not something that these terrorists are going to just uh, be compromised in and, and stop their attacks when uh, they uh, have their land agreements or uh, there is some sort of ceasefire. This is not going to solve any issue. That's the first step. After Saturday comes Sunday and after after the attacks on the Jewish people are finished, then the Christian world is next. Radicalism needs to be stopped. The only way to stop a war from continuing and from, uh, from affecting more people is to cut it off at its root and make sure that it doesn't happen again.